Range script loaded, you can now press escape, select choose slot, and pick your aircraft. The Saab Gripen can carry the US designed, bear in mind that ALGB is unpowered. For this training mission, we will use the same weapon accelerate to a speed of 400 to 420 knots and fly at an altitude of 10,000 feet to maximize the range of our laser guided bombs. We have paused the mission briefly, to explain this weapon procedure. It has three parts, weapon preparation, locate targets using the targeting pod, and finally weapon deployment. Weapon preparation. 1. Set air to ground mode. Press the 7 key. This will configure the mission computer for the use of air to ground weapons, including the laser guided bombs. 2. Select weapon. On the HUD the air to ground symbology is shown, and on its bottom left the currently selected weapon is displayed. Press the D key, to cycle among the weapon stations that currently have LGB. With your current loadout, it will cycle between the GBU-12 and GBU-16. Select the GBU-16 first, as being heavier, it will leave the aircraft lighter for the subsequent bombing passes. 3. Master Arm Safety Switch set to live. This enables all the weapon firing circuits of the aircraft. Use of the targeting pod. The LGB are used in conjunction with a targeting pod, which allows us to search optically, from a great distance, for suitable targets. Press the O key to activate the TV camera of the targeting pod. On the HUD you will see a circle, initially bore sighted over the nose of the aircraft. This is the target designator, TD, you can move it with the keys colon, comma, slash and semicolon. Try and move the TD, to get a feel for it. If needed, you can re-center the TD with right control plus I. To ease the use of the teapot, enable the altitude hold autopilot, with left alt plus 2. To have a complete view of what the teapot sensor is seeing, enable on the left MFD the teapot page, by clicking the highlighted button twice. The actual target designator is the small box on the center of the display. You can adjust the size of the TD box, with the keys right control plus square brackets, so that you can lock larger targets. For a tank sized vehicle, leave it at 10 meters. The teapot has two zoom levels, change between them with the equals and minus keys. If you can see the four brackets, you are zoomed out, if they are not visible then you are zoomed in. Once you have located a target, position the TD box near it and press enter to lock onto it. It isn't necessary to precisely enclose the target inside the TD box, just place it near. The symbology KC should appear on the display, denoting that you are locked onto a terrain point. I have unpaused the simulation. Now you can make slight adjustments to the TD box position. Once near enough to the target, it will be acquired automatically and the symbology will change from KC to AC. Press spacebar as soon as you have the target acquired. Weapon Deployment Once a target is locked, follow these next steps to attack it. 1. Trigger Safety Up On the flight stick, click on the trigger safety cover. It will remain up until you click on it again. 2. Laser Designator On With right shift plus O since the LGB are laser guided, we must turn on the laser designator. The LR symbology appears on both the TGP display and on the HUD. Do it now. Check target range. As the laser bombs are unpowered, to get a good range you must fly with a speed of at least 400 knots and an altitude of at least 9000 feet. 
If you fly too slow or too low, the maximum and minimum range marks will become very close with one another, making it hard to determine a proper release point. Keep flying level towards the target, while monitoring the range scale on the HUD. The autopilot should be helping you to maintain level flight. Press spacebar as soon as the arrow is within the maximum and minimum range marks. We have paused the action again, in order to explain the next few steps that you will have to do on your own. The biggest challenge on using the LGB, is that you have to keep the target illuminated with a laser during the whole bomb trajectory. If the laser loses lock then the bomb will miss. Since the bomb is unpowered, it is easy for your aircraft to overtake it, and since the laser gimbal limit is 90 degrees straight down, you will lose lock if this happens. So, as soon as you release the LGB, reduce throttle to idle and extend the air brakes with the left shift plus B key, the goal being to prevent the aircraft from overtaking the LGB. Also, disconnect the autopilot, with left ALT plus 9, and turn the aircraft slightly left, to avoid overflying the target. At the same time, the aircraft will begin a shallow dive because of its speed reduction, use the trimmer to keep the dive shallow. Keep an eye on the T-Pod display, particularly the horizontal and vertical indexes. Steer the aircraft in such a way that the triangles don't approach their gimbal limits. Do this until the LGB impacts, or you lose lock. 4. Once the target range arrow on the HUD gets between the maximum and minimum range marks, press and hold the trigger to drop the currently selected LGB. You will feel the aircraft shudder a bit and the weapon station will automatically select another LGB. Press and hold the trigger now, and 5. Throttle to idle. Extend air brakes. 6. Disconnect autopilot, turn slightly left, begin shallow dive. Monitor the TV display, steer the aircraft so that the index triangles remain within the gimbal limits. The low LA, the range to target laser status, and time remaining to impact are shown. Once the target is hit, pull out of the dive, close the air brakes, and increase throttle once the nose is over the horizon. First pass, now turn left 180 degrees to go around and perform the second pass. Remember to disconnect the laser, to prevent its overheating. Once you have climbed back to at least 9,000 feet, turn left to a heading of 270 degrees, back towards the weapons range. Fly level, at 400 to 420 knots and 9 to 10,000 feet, 
headed towards the target area. Use the T-Pod to locate a target, switching zoom levels as needed. Remember that you can use active pause to stop the action and give you more time to lock a target. Move the TD to a point near the targets and then press enter to lock it to the ground. The display will show KC. Deactivate the active pause. Make small adjustments to the TD position, until it's very close to a target. Keep flying towards it until the display's lock changes to AC. Activate the laser. Disconnect the autopilot if active. Once the HUD arrow is within the LGB range limits, press and hold the trigger to drop the bomb. Upon release, throttle to idle and open speed brakes. Turn slightly left of the target and begin a shallow dive, to keep the laser pointing at the target. Once the target is hit, pull out of the dive, close the air brakes, and increase throttle once the nose is over the horizon. Second pass, turn left to go around and perform another attack. Remember to disconnect the laser, to prevent its overheating. Once you have climbed back to at least 9,000 feet, turn left to a heading of 270 degrees, back towards the weapons range. Fly level, at 400 to 420 knots and 9 to 10,000 feet, headed towards the target area. Use the T-Pod to locate a target, switching zoom levels as needed. Remember that you can use active pause to stop the action and give you more time to lock a target. Move the TD to a point near the targets and then press enter to lock it to the ground, the display will show KC. Deactivate the active pause. Make small adjustments to the TD position, until it's very close to a target. Keep flying towards it until the display's lock changes to AC. Activate the laser. Disconnect the autopilot if active. Once the HUD arrow is within the LGB range limits, press and hold the trigger to drop the bomb. Upon release, throttle to idle and open speed brakes. Turn slightly left of the target and begin a shallow dive, to keep the laser pointing at the target.
Once the target is hit, pull out of the dive, close the air brakes, and increase throttle once the nose is over the horizon. Third pass, turn left to go around and perform another pass. Remember to disconnect the laser, to prevent its overheating. Once you have climbed back to at least 9,000 feet, turn left to a heading of 270 degrees, back towards the weapons range. Fuel, 1500. Fly level, at 400 to 420 knots and 9 to 10,000 feet, headed towards the target area. Use the T-Pod to locate a target, switching zoom levels as needed. Remember that you can use active pause to stop the action and give you more time to lock a target. Move the TD to a point near the targets and then press enter to lock it to the ground, the display will show KC. Deactivate the active pause. Make small adjustments to the TD position, until it's very close to a target. Keep flying towards it until the display's lock changes to AC. Activate the laser. Disconnect the autopilot if active. Once the HUD arrow is within the LGB range limits, press and hold the trigger to drop the bomb. Upon release, throttle to idle and open speed brakes. Turn slightly left of the target and begin a shallow dive, to keep the laser pointing at the target. Once the target is hit, pull out of the dive, close the air brakes, and increase throttle once the nose is over the horizon. Fourth pass, remember to turn off the laser, to prevent its overheating. You can check your bombing accuracy, by pulling up the communications menu, select F10, Other, then select F1, Range, finally, click F3, My Bombing Results. After checking your results, 
press space bar to perform the disarm procedure. Before returning to base, we must disarm the armament. We have paused the mission again, to guide you through this procedure. 1. Trigger Safety, Down. On the flight stick, click on the trigger safety cover. 2. Master Arm Safety Switch, set to safe. This disables all the weapon firing circuits. 3. Set Navigation Mode. Press the 1 key. This will configure the mission computer for navigation. 4. Laser Ranging. If it is still on, then set to off, with right shift plus O. Press spacebar to unpause and continue the mission. You have finished the LGB bombing part of the training. Do you want to practice the return and landing back to base? Press spacebar to continue, or press backspace to finish the training now. Congratulations! You have successfully performed your LGB bombing training.